Now, a lot of people ask me what I think of Mayor Osborne, but what matters is what you think. Let's ask our first caller. You're on with Jay Jonah Jinks. Hi, I think Mayor Osborne's doing a terrific job. He's cleaned the city up and expanded the economy. With all due respect to the office of mayor, the police cleaned up the city, and entrepreneurs boosted the economy. I do approve of many of the mayor's initiatives, like cracking down on quality of life crimes and reducing red tape. But I think he takes credit for a lot of things other people do. He's ambitious, which is not a bad thing. But I always say, be careful of people with agendas. We used to have a vigilant press to keep politicians honest, but it's a shadow of its former self. Now all you've really got is me. Harry left me a message about these before he left the room. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might chill their polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. These clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha. I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. <laughs> Got it. like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Perfect. Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. 
Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Hey, Pete. This lab monitors the health of marine life, and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it. But the effects these diseases have, they're just... they are not something any living creature should go through. Looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish. I better take care of it before the food supply's contaminated. Found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish. I just need to spray it over the water and fast before people start getting sick. First step, get to the docks. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Friendly neighborhood garbage man. Barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. It's gotta cover a wide area. fish will spread it to other fish, which is good, because there's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. More barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them.
Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. Is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Fishy fishies, this is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider-Man, water polluter. Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. Clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. I've been looking into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. What were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman, actually pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. So this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. 
It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait. ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. How's it going? Getting close. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Let's see. Looks good. Good. Looks good. Good. Let's see. Hmm. 
Looks good. Ah, too much lag. Hmm. Let's see. Good. Looks good. It's working! Everything's stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing.
Okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals, uh, basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out, gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Not only is Mini-Me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe... Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in, he's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Looking good, buddy. It really is you. How's it going? Nice to see you, dude. Kinda scaring me. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Chemicals back where it belongs. I beefed up the station security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um, well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. <sighs> the zipline webs seem fine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is 
is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. You'd think these people never saw a guy jogging on walls. Okay. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway if the bacteria won't survive that long. Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way.
There's the testing receptacle. Full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. I didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. Hey Pete, this station's one of my pet projects. I always thought the cellular network was vulnerable to terrorist attacks, so I set this up to monitor it. Can you do me a favor? Look for anything suspicious. Uh-oh. It's not terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. I set my lenses to show me the danger zones. I gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. Ah, gotta get out of here! That's the downside of all the tech in my mask. That hurt! Down, but I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. Bet I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals. It'd be as bad as a blackout. Gotta hurry. Soon the whole system's gonna go. Got it. The job's only halfway done. Oh man, I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone ex- Okay, let's not do that again. That one fixed. It bought me some time, but I can't slow down. Can't waste a second. I'm getting to be a tight squeeze. Bam! Now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe.
Bring your children into the room, friends, because I'm delivering a lesson impressionable youngsters need to hear. My guest today is a man who learned the hard way that dressing up like Spider-Man isn't cool. Go ahead, sir. Well, I, I wanted to fight crime and help people, and I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so I put on a costume like his and try to do what he does. Oh boy, was that a mistake. I almost got killed. I'm just lucky the real Spider-Man saved me. Let me stop you right there, because I think the salient point has been made. Emulate Spider-Man in any way, and you will die! Don't do it, kids! And that's another one of Uncle Jonah's life lessons. Jared, trademark that! This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. Like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures, just like the old bugle days. One down. Get a recall order, courtesy of your Earth friendly neighborhood Spider Man. The outfit. I've been a Taxi! Taxi! <laughs> Dude. Spider Man. I know the guy at the network. Imagine the morning show with Spider Man. Spider Crisis coming through! 
Remember that guy? Electro? Yeah, in jail. So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread, you know? Whoa, the pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Just call me the Amazing Spider Plumber. Et voila. All fixed. Just in time. Huh, even better than duct tape. Got it. Got last one. Those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high. Unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Now I ask, how many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? And now Oscorp can't deny Harry Station stopped a public utility meltdown. Maybe I'm paranoid, but I just don't think those Oscorp research stations are safe. Worth looking into. Thanks. I'm he doesn't go. Spider-Man. Morning show with Spider Man. I'm telling you, it's huge.
anyone else heard reports of Spider-Man literally seeking out clouds of smog to swing through? Is this the behavior of a sane individual? I'll tell you what I think is going on here. When I was a lad, there was a problem with juvenile delinquents sniffing glue to get high. Knowing Spider-Man's weak moral character and thrill-seeking personality, I'd guess the same principle is at work here. But inhaling toxic substances also damages the brain, which actually explains a lot about Spider-Man. He's swinging through the city, hopped up on smog! Hey, pal. This station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically... Too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury, bonded with something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me.
nitric acid in there too, but also something else. I'm on the right track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Phew. That stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. Uh, one down. <coughs> Breathing this stuff in? Not good. Nice, it's working. Couple more barrels. Last one. Stay above this stuff. <laughs> That's it. Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. Could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open.
Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid? You just stupid! You are so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Words per minute? Syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's also subjective. If you ask me... Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid? You just stupid! You talk so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any... Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I go, they'll kill me! Stand still! If you ask nicely, maybe. First fight, me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talk? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I go, they'll kill me. Coming your way. Gotcha. Nope, gotta try something else. If you come clean, I can help you! You really wanna help me? Don't let me have my money! Sorry, not gonna happen. Catch! People don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. oh, come on, Herman. You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. 